I guess we have our answer. But how the fuck do magnets work? Oh shit. Shut the front door of the dojo. Huh. If it pleases you, get over here. <laughs> There you go. Boom out. Choose your talent transmitter. Ooh. How do you choose a transmitter? Sometimes the transmitter chooses for you. Sometimes the situation chooses for you. Here's a guide to the secret weapons forged at Zaxcom. Several talent transmitter options have been designed to crush anything that stands in your way in the field. When choosing lab transmitters for your kit, you really need to consider the jobs you're doing and what's most important to you. Key factors are size, weight, and runtime. Let's look at the LA-3, ZMT-3, and ZMT-3X side by side. Notice that the ZMT-3 is the smallest, lightest, and easiest to hide. It runs on a rechargeable lithium battery. The ZMT-3X is a little thicker and heavier, but it's our most robust splash-resistant transmitter and it runs for 12 hours on a rechargeable lithium battery. The LA-3 is Zaxcom's most versatile and well-rounded transmitter running on two AA batteries. Here are some features that all of our current transmitters share. They transmit and record at the same time. The timecode stamped audio files are recorded at 24 bits, 48 kilohertz on an instantly removable micro SD card in a lossless fail-safe file type called MARF. They have a timecode reader generator, encrypted audio transmission, they can transmit ZHD modulation. ZHD makes the transmission signal narrower, which is a great tool in tough RF situations or where there are a lot of reflections. All transmitters can be remote controlled via Zaxnet, so you can do things like adjust the gain, change the frequency, and adjust transport controls. Let's go over the transmitters individually. TRX LA3. It's Zaxcom's staple transmitter, super versatile. It's powered by two AA batteries with enough runtime that'll make it to lunch. The LA3 has Neverclip, a dual A to D input giving an extra 18 dB of seamless headroom. It also has Power Roll to help conserve battery life when transmitters are not in use. ZMT3. This is our sub-miniature transmitter designed to be hidden almost anywhere. It runs on a rechargeable NP50 lithium battery and also has Neverclip. ZMT3X. This is our most robust and longest lasting transmitter, getting 12 hours of runtime on a single rechargeable battery. It's splash resistant and runs in either mono or stereo mode via two micro dot microphone connectors. It has never clip when in mono mode. And these are our specialty transmitters. ZMT3 Flex. This is a uniquely shaped transmitter that's thin and bendable. It runs on a rechargeable lithium battery and runs in either mono or stereo mode via two micro dot microphone connectors. It has never clip when in mono mode, designed to be easily concealed and keep talent safe from harm in high impact situations, often used for professional sports or stunt work. TRX FB3. This transmitter has a built-in IFB audio receiver, so talent can be transmitting audio and listening to an IFB feed at the same time. It also has a programmable button on top that's most often used as a mute switch. This is great for use in broadcast and sports applications. It's powered by two AA batteries. ZMT3HH. This is a handheld microphone that can work both wirelessly and wired at the same time. It has a mute switch and a light up ring to see the levels, identify ID codes, or simply for decoration. It can be used with any capsule that has shore compatible threading. Sidebar, the ZMT3 Phantom 2 was made for boom, but can also be used with a lab. More about that when you choose your boom transmitter. Transmit me out. Pro tip, where the fuck does the mic go? The ZMT-3 can be hidden anywhere. I'm not sure where you're gonna put that. I have an idea, are you okay if I wire you underneath your clothing? Sure. Prepare the transmitter with waterproof tape and remember to cover the micro SD card slot. Here we're using a moleskin sandwich to place the mic. In this scene, we're putting it in a bra so the talent can be physically involved in the scene or deal with any wardrobe change and still get perfect audio. You'll never see the transmitter or the mic.
You ready to fight? All right. Hello. So we're all here today to discuss the burning topic. How do magnets work? Well, the answer begins with the Egyptians. I mean, how did they move that shit? On this slide, we see a, a few haplograflex, and then on this one, it kind of looks like a guitar pick, right? Nope, that's, a, that's an alien head. So, whew, honestly, that's why I think aliens brought magnets to Earth. I mean, am I right? Seriously, I'm right, right? God, they love me. They really want me to do it, I think. Oh, hi. Is this yours? I bet it's expensive. Bombs away. <laughs> Ruined your day, you little bitch. Oh, don't worry, I'll, I'll bring you an LND form. The studio will take care of it in a year. <laughs>